What is special about verbs? Verbs tell action. Click. Verb. Turns on the television. Watch. Verb. View the screen. Open. Verb. See what's inside. Listen. Verb. Hear the sirens. Close. Verb. Shut the blinds. Verbs will express physical action or mental action. Aaron swings. Aaron is the noun subject doer. Swings is the action. Fans watch. Fans are the noun subject doers. Watch is the action. Coaches strategize. Coaches are the noun subject doers. Strategize is the action. Catcher waits. Catcher is the noun subject doer. Waits is the action. Mariah spins. Mariah is the noun subject doer. Spins is the action. Fans watch. Fans are the noun subject doers. Watch is the action. Companies advertise. Companies are the noun subject doers. Advertise is the action. Music plays. Music is the noun subject doer. Plays is the action. Verbs should be very easy to identify. Some words look like verbs but do not perform the action in the sentence. Verb myth number one. Every word ending in ing is a verb. Not true. The girl heard the ringing phone. The girl is the noun subject doer. Heard is the action verb. Which phone? The ringing phone. Ringing is an adjective describing the noun phone. The family likes eating burgers. Family is the noun subject doer. Likes is the action verb. What was liked? Eating burgers. The phrase eating burgers behaves like a noun. Practicing hockey keeps the boys busy. The phrase practicing hockey is the noun subject doer. Keeps is the action verb. Ringing, eating, playing are not verbs because a helping verb is needed before the ing word. A verb ending in ing must follow its own noun subject and its own helping verb. A noun subject names the performer or doer of the action. Nouns name a person, a place, a thing, an idea, or a time. What are the helping verbs? For actions in the past, helping verbs include was, were, been, did, done, have, has, had. Helping verbs in the present include am, is, are, be, being, do, and does. Helping verbs for action in the future include shall, will, and must. Helping verbs for possible action include may, might, can, could, should, and would. Verb myth number two. A verb following the word to is the main action verb. Not true. Not to. Jen needs to walk the dog. Jen is the noun subject doer. Needs is the action verb. The infinitive phrase to walk the dog behaves like a noun. To walk keeps the dog happy. The infinitive phrase to walk is the noun subject. Keeps is the action verb. The way to ski well involves lessons and practice. Way is the noun subject doer. Which way? To ski well is the adjective infinitive phrase that describes the noun way. Involves is the action verb. A plan to make good grades requires study. 
Plan is the noun subject doer. Which plan? To make good grades is the adjective infinitive phrase describing the noun plan. Requires is the action verb. A doctor works to save lives. Doctor is the noun subject doer. Works is the action verb. Why does he work? To save lives. This infinitive phrase acts like an adverb to explain why he works. The children join teams to play sports. Children are the noun subject doers. Join is the action verb. Why did they join? To play sports. This infinitive phrase acts like an adverb to explain why they joined. Use a noun subject and a verb to make your sentences superb.